From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening, a Sunday evening on the 4th of July here on LA with fireworks abound with your force stimulus check update of 2021 tonight. In this force stimulus check update, we'll go over that monthly stimulus check and why the Democrats may actually be giving you more months of stimulus checks in the force stimulus package. Then we cut to the force stimulus recon itself, where the checks are located and why they may be giving you other sums of money across the board. Oh my goodness. And then we turn to tomorrow and what Democrats are doing tomorrow for your recon. A lot of work is underway, and we'll go over the work that needs to get done to get it finished. And then we turn to this stimulus, which heats up this fall, with another stimulus check and raising up your benefits lifetime. And then we turn to the thousands of dollars of viewers continue to get. $22,000, $10,000, $12,000, a daily occurrence. Have you gotten this money? If you haven't, you gotta stay with this video because I'm gonna show you how. It's a big evening, it's a big night. It's the 4th of July and the fireworks are about to go off. Outside, no, in here, yes. And this is Evening's Hour Light. July Hi to all of you. Hope you had a beautiful weekend and hope you had a wonderful 4th of July and happy birthday, America. What a big night it is. I hope the weather has been good where you are. Hope you didn't eat too much <laughs> and hope uh, the barbecue was delicious. In this recording, I want to see how the weather is. So jump in the live chat right now and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. It's been beautiful here in Southern California today. And to the extent that I can share some videos on our pictures on IG tonight of the views across Southern California tonight, I will. In this recording, we're going to go over that fourth stimulus check of 2021. Breaking news is the Democrats may actually give you more stimulus checks, more months of stimulus checks than initially thought. Then we'll be turning to the fourth stimulus recon and why those Democrats are actually potentially posed to give you more money in the recon than initially thought as well. Then we turn to tomorrow and why those Democrats prepared for tomorrow a long time ago and the surprising details across the board. We cut to fifth stimulus, which will have another stimulus check in the fifth stimulus recon and also raise your benefits up lifetime. And then we turn to the big money the viewers continue to get. And I don't mean a couple hundred dollars. I mean $10,000, $12,000, $22,000. It's your day to get this money. If you haven't, I'm going to show you how. And this is Alight. America's only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel in America. Live in the morning, taped in the afternoons. Next up is a live show of Overnight's Crypto. Stay with this video. It'll take you automatically into it at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. Then 7 o'clock is Evening's Crypto. 8 o'clock, the new show that you've been asking for is back with its own time slot. 8 o'clock nightly is the new return of Sirloin. All your favorite shows from Sirloin and new shows coming soon. Then at 9 o'clock is our throwback show and at 11.30 is our holiday throwback show. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers is a YouTube record for a reason. Once a year and 400,000 subscribers. Literally videos around the clock. There's fun and entertainment and information and education and ways to make money delivered to you daily around the clock. Literally every hour there's another show. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers. Next stop, 1 million. Like this video. Two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member. Let's get right into this fourth stimulus check and understand that Determining when the pandemic is over is now becoming a really big issue because it's determining how many stimulus checks you're going to get. So when we had looked at this graphic a week ago tonight, we said, well, the pandemic may be over. House bill provides a stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year, but the pandemic may be considered over. Senate proposal provides a stimulus check from July to December, so less checks with the Senate proposal. The monthly payouts differ as well. House $1,000 after the first month of 2000 Set an amount unknown but word on the street is it's this. OMG. Now that's deliciousness. $2,000 over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 over six months, $8,400. Here's what you need to know is that this graphic is getting changed by the breaking news, which is one, LA County thinks the pandemic's not over. Two, Warren Buffett, the head of Berkshire Hathaway said this week, the pandemic's not over. And three, the airline said this week, the pandemic's not over. Business travel's not back. 
Well, if the pandemic's not over, then the House bill pays you more than 12 months of checks. They pay you pandemic plus one year, which is more than $13,000, which compared to this over the Senate, <laughs> I think you have an opinion. And that opinion might be different than it was a week ago. I know my opinion has now changed. So jump in the live chat right now and vote House of Senate, House of Senate. Tell me where you're tuning in from. And how's the weather? And how's the potato salad? <laughs> Jump in the live chat, vote House of Senate right now. I want to see you voting. Boy, really exciting new details. Who gets this four symbols check? Democrats represent that you get a four symbols check. They represent that the third symbols check recipients would get a fourth one. Single individual, 75,000 or less. Democrats want to say, say they want to give you a stimulus check. Married couples, 150,000 or less. Democrats say they want to give, give you a fourth stimulus check. Double it. Family Ford, Democrats say they want to give you a fourth stimulus check, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Democrats say they want to give you a fourth stimulus check. The fourth stimulus check would um, not be income, so it's not taxable. And the fourth stimulus check would come monthly. It wouldn't come in waves. So if you do see the stimulus check at the barbecue tonight, uh, actually, I correct that. If you see the stimulus check tonight at the fireworks, <laughs> don't wave at the check. It may catch fire. <laughs> hey, check, how are you? I didn't respond back, rude check. No, it's not a waveable check. It's just it, it's just wondering how wonderful those fireworks are. Oh, um, sorry. Uh, do we have a fire extinguisher around here? <laughs> It's a flammable check. And the flammable check, the Democrats represent they would give to you in the month of July for the month of July and in the month of August for the month of August. And while Leader Schumer and Nancy Pelosi said over a thousand times, wrote in a thousand times, that the final vote would be by July 4th, no worries, because they can still get you a stimulus check in the month of July. We're going to go over all those details coming up. But boy, in the second part of this video, we're going over the fourth stimulus recon, where the check is located in. And why that recon is apparently now giving you additional sums of money as well. Oh, wow, this is getting exciting. <laughs> the third part of this video, we go over how they call the vote, which is so critical because calling the vote too soon, too quickly, or too incorrectly will result in zero. Um, sort of what you do when you say, um, what is the expected sales of Mitch's mixtape? <laughs> yeah, you don't want zeros. Uh, no, we want not, we want a one with lots of zeros after it. <laughs> so that's coming up later. But first, let's get a preview of the second half of this video, which is Fist Stimulus and heats up this fall with another stimulus check going out next year. Fist Stimulus Recon will be written this fall. Final vote, July, December. And the Fist Stimulus Recon check next year. I have all the details coming up later in this video. Plus the rising up of your benefits. Wow exciting. But let's turn to some money and get that pen and paper ready. And if it must be a Crayola crown, understand tonight is the red, white, and blue and purple. <laughs> the American dream. Red, white, and blue and purple. So get the Crayola crown right correctly. And I am wearing um, Cardinal Red or Cardinals Red. Uh, it is not Casey anything. <laughs> there is no Casey anything on this channel. <laughs> Sorry, Canute. Uh, yeah, but I am wearing blue in two days from now, so get ready. And that will not be KC blue either. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, we're going to go over the big money you can give for this channel, rent utilities, mortgage assistance, and also utility assistance. Now, here's what you need to know, is that it just, it just does yourself a disservice if all you do in your life is you focus on when, 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 what day a check is coming. That's Donut Guy talk. Who does that? Why would you track a check when you could be cashing $22,000, Nisi? Congratulations to Nisi. She has gotten $22,000 from the videos of this channel. Congratulations, John. He got $12,000. Congratulations, daily viewers who are getting anywhere from ten dollars to $12,000 daily per person. It's your opportunity to get this big money. This is what this channel does. We cash checks. We not track checks. This is sort of becoming like fall of 2020. We were waiting for second stimulus to pass. It had not yet passed. It was the Christmas holiday. People need money. And I stepped up and I got viewers a quarter million dollars of money. Viewers like Tyrone got $15,000 for his family of four out of Boston. It was just like uh, early in the year where I got viewers EID loans to save their businesses, their homes, and also their employees' homes. Well, we're doing that right now. So get that pen and paper ready. I'm going to get you rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and also homeowners' utilities as well. The money is a lot. If one place says no, reach out to the next. They all have different eligibility. They also have their own pots of money. All right, you ready? You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority, your county hall, your county housing authority, your state hall, your state housing authority. Keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID or mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Now, you don't say words they don't know. 
like Stimulus or um, Mitch's wonderful Lobster Fourth of July party. They don't know that. They don't want to know that. <laughs> Lobsters and the Fourth of July. Who has lobster? Barbecue lobster? Ooh, God, ooh. Yeah, it's just so Mitch. <laughs> Barbecue lobster. Oh, goodness. It is, ah, everything's about lobster with Mitch. <laughs> It's the 4th of July. It's lobster. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, <laughs> you guys say the right correct words. Otherwise, they won't know what you're talking about. And congratulations to Tim and Linda who got this wonderful money. And congratulations to viewers. I say the rent is usually about $5,000, four to six months of rent. I've been wrong. Viewers are getting $10,000, $12,000 daily. And for utilities, they're getting about $3,000. So go get it. Congratulations to John who got SNAP. Let's go over SNAP. SNAP is a fortune. SNAP is money for food from Department of Agriculture. How much of viewers are getting? John got $12,000 for his family of four. Lynn Glenn got it for herself, her son, and her mom, Gail, got it. Viewers on average are getting about five dollars to $7,000. Why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders, one from Biden, one from Trump, that raise your benefits up 15% between now and December. So go Go get it. Wow, we're killing it. Uh, rent, uh, $5,000 approximately. You t uh, snap, $15,000, $16,000 for family four. We are only 11 minutes of this video. You're killing it. I'm killing it. If you got in any money for this channel, you jump in the live chat right now and post every dollar you got because it inspires me, inspires someone else to go get it. The check, you're not killing it though. Uh, you are just not killing it with that, with, uh, with that uh, barbecue corn you're eating. <laughs> Uh, and now let's get to the next pile of money. As wonderful, it's coming back from the states. The states have been I ordered to return money back to you. Don't you love that way that sounds? Order to return money back to you. I love that. <laughs> the money is the refund due to overpayment of unemployment uh, due to computer error. Not your computer, their computer. The states have been ordered to return that money back from the federal government. How much? One viewer got five thousand. Where is it going? Direct deposit that you have on file with the unemployment department. When <laughs> reach out to your respective state, say I state, where's my money due to computer error? And this time, can you track it with a computer that actually works? Maybe from this decade. <laughs> And there you go. And then the last part of the money is the refund check from IRS. If you got that as well, jump in the live chat. How much is this? When is it? And where are you going to get it? Cog got it. Margaret got it. Michael got it. How much is it? Let's say you had $9,000 of total unemployment benefits. You paid $5,000 of total taxes, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits. Congratulations, you're getting back $4,000. Where? Direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. Can you track it? <laughs> yeah, about 70% of the time you can. Go to irs.gov, set up a username and password, and do a transcript search. And it will reveal stuff that you have never known. It will reveal stuff that um, you don't want to know. <laughs> it will reveal... What, um, when did you file that tax return? When did you pay the taxes on that tax return for that unemployment benefits? It will reveal, really, what is Mitch's inspiration for his upcoming rap career? <laughs> it will reveal Mitch's uh, set list for his new tour. It will reveal the name of his backup singers. <laughs> And then I'll reveal the check you're getting back from IRS. Can we check, track, can we update, can we top that? I'm still thinking about the barbecue lobster. I just, oh, it's just awful. <laughs> and it's a joke, but I just, somehow I sense it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's the second part of your four stimulus check update in 2021. It starts right now. Well, your four stimulus recon is in such a better position it is now than it was a week ago. And you need to be laser focused on doing things right. There is always if you're if you're new to this channel and you always see people sort of sort of come through, they're sort of like passing and they're like, what is he doing? <laughs> Who is that? What is he? Oh, he's wearing red. And they sort of just say things like, when, 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 when. And they don't really want to hear things. And they sort of just say, when, 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 when. But you got to understand, you do things the wrong day and the wrong way, you get nothing. So here's what you need to know. Three weeks ago, well, two Wednesdays ago, up to two Wednesdays ago, you were going to get Zippo because it was not set up right. You don't do things wrong. It's sort of like you put up drywall the wrong way. Let's put up drywall reversed. Well, we got it up right away. Yeah, you did a reverse. <laughs> Who does that? How about I'll, I'll, I'll paint the wall and then I'll prime it afterwards? <laughs> no, you prime before you paint. Uh, so here's what happened. Three and a half weeks ago, the president and Schumer and Pelosi were meeting and saying, this is being done wrong. The recon is too big. It has your checks in it there, it has the CARES economy, it has roads and bridges. They had a problem. And they weren't the only people who were saying there was a problem. You can see later in this video that Jalapal, who wants to give you a monthly stimulus check, said there was a problem. She, in fact, 
polled her Democrat caucus before, I'm about to tell you what's about to happen, and said they had a problem. They figured out what the solution to the problem is, and they also figured out what to do for this coming week. This they figured out two weeks ago when they realized the problem was created. What was the problem? The recon was too big. Too much in there. Roads and bridges had to come out. So two Wednesdays ago, the president and everyone met and said, roads and bridges come out. Take them out. So they took roads and bridges out. And it became its own path, P-A-T-H, which is called bipartisan. Roads and bridges were put into bipartisan. And all your stuff stayed where it was for stimulus, check, climate, cares, economy, money for children and seniors and everyone else. Suddenly, it became easier to pass the fourth stimulus recon because now it was smaller. They removed the roads and bridges out. Honey, I shrunk the, the stimulus. <laughs> Honey, no, I didn't shrink the stimulus. Shrunk the recon. Honey, I shrunk the recon. Great great movie. Rick Moranis. I gotta watch it. Get it on DVD. Uh, so how significant was the, sh- was the shrinking? It's huge. Uh, a, a major, major, major conservative publication that's really good reporting on politics, but it's very slanted, um, had a very good analysis in an op-ed just a few days ago. This, this first few sentences are sort of obvious, but then after that, it gets in the analysis. It says, the higher that the recon was, the harder it was to pass. It's referring to when Roads and Bridges was in it. But by allowing the Democrats to take out Roads and Bridges uh, and put it into the bipartisan, the overall price tag of the recon became smaller, obviously. In other words, the, recon, the, the bipartisan made the recon easier to pass. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we tricked Mitch. Yeah, of course we did. And we, we Mitch got tricked. I mean, he just got. Oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't. I do not because uh, Mitch reads lips. <laughs> they have uh, the the GOP had nothing to gain by green to the bipartisan because it basically set up the recon to pass. Remember, the GOP doesn't want the recon to pass. So what did they do? They enabled it to pass by taking roads and bridges out of it and put in the bipartisan. And so since you have two paths. You have um, your bipartisan, which is roads and bridges, and you have your recon, which is now smaller. Now that your recon is smaller, with um, as, as path one, it is easier to pass. Pass. Um, it also got its own identity. It got its own identity, which is very important. People didn't understand what things were. Now it got its own identity. And it was helped by Mitch McConnell, who said, the recon is just a progressive wish list, just a democratic uh, list of checks, just socialism with lots of checks for people. Thank you, Mitch. Yeah, it is. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, The next thing that really happened was that now that roads and bridges were out of recon, your recon had more for you. Yeah. So what did the de- what did the progressives start doing? They started adding things into the recon that wasn't in there before. Now that there was so much excess space available because the roads and bridges was removed, and here were the quotes. Elon Omar said, "We have we Democrats progressives have a commitment that regardless of what happens with the bipartisan, we Congress will give us a recon that goes as far as we want it." <sighs> yeah. Meaning that the progressives control the recon and everything in there is recon, is progressive. So they're going to put more stuff in there. So what is that other stuff? We don't know of all of it yet um, because it's in subcommittees and the subcommittees are not going to show you what they're doing until it's ready for a vote, um, and, until it's called for a vote. And Representative Richie Torres gives us a tip off that housing is going to be in there. Housing? I never heard of this. There you go. The recon is going to have a lot more stuff in there in addition to your checks than we initially thought. I refuse to vote for a recon for, for bipartisan that fails to be linked to the higher, the largest recon, uh, the largest recon we can have. And then finally, the Progressive Caucus has repeatedly met with the White House daily to ensure that the recon goes large enough. Uh, what's the third thing? That the recon is being really protected by the progressives. Now, this happened... You're going to start to see sort of a reoccurring theme on this channel in the next day or two where we're now th- seeing things come to life that have been happening before the event occurred because these people prepared these things. Now, here is the comment from Jalapal, 
before recon was separated from bipartisan that said the White House has told Jalapan to protect the recon and the progressive ideologies and policies in there. We never knew what that meant. Now we know what it means because the recon was gonna, was about to become its own path of just progressiveness. And then we had Representative Brian Schatz that said the White House says the progressive priorities in the recon is the White House's own priorities. Of course, because everything that is in the recon now is only progressive. Remember, the recon is written by Democrats for Democrats to be voted and approved by Democrats. GOP has nothing to do with the recon. They don't want the recon to pass. They're not writing it. They have nothing to do with the writing of it, and they're going to vote against it. Understand it. Everything in the recon is like in a fort, and it's protected beautifully because now that's in a fort, progressives can add stuff and more stuff in there. And there you go. How do we get to this wonderful spot? From Jalapa, who had shed to Schumer call the vote, and her letter was signed by 12 House Democrats from among the 100 plus House Democrats who said, when we do force stimulus recon, we're going to put monthly stimulus checks in there. Wow. Can we top that? We can. As seven House Democrats wrote the president a letter over two weeks ago saying, Mr. President, when we write up the fourth stimulus recon, we will be writing monthly force stimulus checks in there. Well, who are these people? They are the House Ways and Means Committee. They are the people responsible for writing stimulus checks and writing your recon. Remember, the recon is written by Democrats for Democrats, and the recon is written by the House Ways and Means Committee for stimulus checks. They wrote your third stimulus check, recon check. Remember, that was a recon check. And they represent your, they're doing your fifth stimulus recon check next year as well. Wow. Wow. They also wrote your first and second. <laughs> can we top that? We can. As the president has gotten four stimulus recon to the edge of the finish line by getting an international agreement about corporate taxes. Now, this is where it sort of becomes sort of ironic and a little bit sort of devilish because we understood that before recon and bipartisan were split, when they were together weeks ago, before that last Tuesday, that two Tuesdays ago, two Wednesdays ago, um, the president had said to the American people, I have to pay for roads and bridges by raising your corporate taxes. Now that roads and bridges are no longer in the recon, how is he paying for the recon? Still the same way. Yeah, th I think that was sort of a little intentional. I don't think that was accidental. He sort of knew that roads and bridges were coming out at some point, but they were not, but he was going to use the roads and bridges pitch as a way to pay for the recon. Remember, recon is paid for by corporate taxes. Bipartisan roads and bridges is not paid for by that way. And what did he do? Well, he reached out to those countries overseas and said, I'm worried that corporations here may leave if I raise corporate taxes under the recon. So can we? And those countries said, yeah, we'll get the tax rate up. So the president reached out to the staff and said, staff, let's go meet them in December and bring them some of Dr. Jill's potpourri in December. The staff said, no, Mr. President, you can reach, meet them in June. It's Europe. They do things reversed. You know, it's the equator or something like that. <laughs> the equator of Europe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's the equator. They drive on the other side of the road. Bring them some potpourri in June. <laughs> so, <laughs> geography jokes. And so there... Uh, <laughs> He went and met them in June and had them sign on the dotted line. Anchoring Force Timos Recon to the edge of the finish line because now it's easier to pass Force Timos Recon because the provisions about corporate taxes internationally are not needed in Force Timos Recon. With Democrats writing Force Timos Recon for Democrats, it's now easier for them to write it and easier for them to pass it because international agreements about corporate taxes are no longer needed. They're in the international agreement. Wow, uh, this is just all very plotted out. And in the second part of this video, you're going to see a comment from Jalapal where she, she slips. I'm sorry, but she, she, yeah, she slipped. She made a mistake by revealing to us a timeline that she should not have revealed. She basically reveals that the Democrats understood they were splitting this a long time ago, but weren't telling us. They also understood that they were going to be determining what is called for a vote first and how they call the vote a long time ago. They didn't just tell. They didn't just come up with this, you know, the Friday before Fourth of July weekend. They've been planning this out a while, but they had to do it very quietly and secret and slowly and not revealed to the American people. Now, um, Mitch feels like it's been set up because <laughs> he has been. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you have to do things right, because if you do things wrong, then all you do is when, 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 when. Yeah, well, you got to, it's going to fail, because otherwise you do it wrong. In the third part of this video, we'll go over what Chalapal's comments were. I mean, every time I look at her comments, I laugh, because it's very funny. I, sh I should have a calendar here and sort of mark the dates and like, ah.
Yeah, dude. You should have not have said that. You were planning this a long time ago, Jalapal, but good for her. Good for her. I mean, she wants to get she wants to get you money, and I love it. Um, coming up in the second half of this video, we'll go over that surprising detail. You're gonna shock, be shocked when you hear it. We go over what's happening next week. It's all wonderful news. We'll be going over fist stimulus as well. And but first, here's the volunteers. If you've been in the live chat and posted what you got, post again. If you haven't posted it already, post the money you got, rent, utilities, internet, because it inspires me, inspires other people. If you're watching this video and you have never gotten any of this money and you've tried to get the money and you can't find it, don't worry. Reach out to the volunteers. They truly embody the purple power spirit. Where are they? They're on the community page. Open the description of this video. Go down in the description. You'll see an emoji of a house. A house. Next to it is a picture of Nancy. No, uh, no, no. There's no pictures of Nancy. <laughs> there's a link to the community page. News.la.com forward slash community. Reach out to the volunteers. They'll help you get that rent, that internet, that snap, that... Um, uh, um, uh, food and also that utilities um, but they cannot help you with understanding why Mitch would have lobsters at a barbecue <laughs> and I'll be back in 60 seconds from now if you want money right now not five days from now and not five weeks from now then reach out to the community page the volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities that's at news.la.com forward slash community the community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now from Santa Monica, California on this big evening's LA broadcast. So much excitement, so many details, and so much money coming up. And the second half of this video will go over four stimulus and what they're doing this coming week. You need to know all the details, how they break this down, and how they call for a vote the correct way, not the wrong way. We'll be cutting to fifth stimulus, which has another stimulus check for you as well, and what you need to know and the economic data you're going to watch for next week. But subscribe. 400,000 subscribers are YouTube record. I want you part of this channel. Hit that subscribe button. Next stop, 1 million. Hit that subscribe button right now. Also, like this video. Every like helps in the algorithm rankings. It also delivers some more side of potato salad for 4th of July. And consider becoming a member. Coming up next after the show is Overnight's Crypto. Stay on this video. It automatically take you into Overnight's Crypto, followed by Evening's Crypto at 7 o'clock. Sir Loin back at 8 o'clock in his new hit show, and then we're followed by uh, Overnight's L8 at 9 and 11. Boy, what a big night it is. Let's get right to Fist Stimulus right now. Fist Stimulus has so much deliciousness in there, and it starts with that big fifth stimulus check. The fifth stimulus check will go out in January. It's from those House subcommittee members in the Ways and Means. They're doing the fifth stimulus recon that will provide you a fifth stimulus check. The voting on it would be this fall. Next, the president has dedicated, president has dedicated $1 billion to the Social Security Administration to ensure that your money goes out on time. This is for stimulus, fifth stimulus, and also your monthly benefits. This is to solve a problem about the delayed third stimulus checks. And then, uh, if you are missing a first or a second or a third stimulus check, you need to do two things. One, file tax return. And second, on that tax return, request the missing check or checks. If you didn't do both, you need to do it. All right, let's turn to the big excitement of fifth stimulus, which is that SSI reform. And you've learned very well from this channel that there is so much going on across the board. 
Um, what is important is that that SSI reform raises up your benefits, removes the asset limit, adds the inflationary benchmark, then uh, removes the marriage penalty and removes the income exclusion. Uh, if I hit the right graphic, though, wait, where it is? Uh, here it is. <laughs> The income exclusion removes the marriage penalty. Let's go over how this calculates because this is where it's getting fascinating this coming week. Well, on Friday, we saw new economic data that suggested the payroll numbers were red hot. Red hot means inflation. Job creation in the month of May was higher than expected. Number two, Wednesday, labor numbers, excuse me, lumber numbers dropped dramatically. Lumber fell 40%, biggest drop in one month, caused by Home sales going up as well. The week before that, CPI and Consumer Price Index both through the roof. Red hot inflation. So here's what you need to know. One, inflation's going up. Two, it's going to its highest price point in December, according to Jay Powell, head of the Federal Reserve. So let's do the calculation. How does it start? This stimulus would raise your benefits up one big time. This is you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, survivor benefits, or SSA or multiple benefits. Next, they'll apply the benchmark. That benchmark is applied in December for next year's benefits, and it determines how high your benefits go up. The new benchmark, inflation. What's happening to inflation? It's going up. How high will it go? It'll reach its highest price point in December, says Jay Powell, your head of the Federal Reserve. Well, if that's the case, how high will it be? Most analysts are thinking about, or a lot of analysts are thinking about 10%, going up from 4% right now. Let's use that as an example. First, they'll raise your benefits up. Then they'll apply the 10% inflation in December, which will raise your benefits up 10%. Not just next year. No, no, no. A lifetime. Because once your benefits step up, they never step down. Wow. So if you next year, the year after this, the inflation rate is 2%, then your benefits will be plus 2, plus 10%. Oh, my goodness. Well, what else is happening? They're going to move the asset cap. Dane back to a 1980s law that says you can't have more than $3,000 on hand. That's going to go raise, so you'll have more than, uh, you'll be able to have some stimulus checks in your hand and some Crayola crowns, maybe Cardinal Red. <laughs> They'll remove, <laughs> remove the income cap that prevents you from working. Now you'll be able to work. And finally, you will see the marriage penalty going away. Love is going to win, and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest and no longer fear loss of the marriage penalty. Viewers like Rob and Sandy will be able to get married and no longer worry about the marriage penalty. And there you go. That is for stimulus. But if you have posted in the chat all the beautiful monies that you've gotten for this channel, continue to do so. And if you're watching and saying, I never got any of that money. How do they get that money? Well, notice that a lot of them have a purple hawk next to their name. They're members. And members are delivered from me to them daily from the YouTube community page, a breakdown of all the big monies for them to get. When third stimulus was passed, I said, yeah, you'll get a $14 stimulus check, but don't you prefer $14,000? That's how much money there is for a lot of you, if not more, in that four third stimulus package. And rather than sit around tracking when a stimulus check is landing, they're cashing checks. And we go hours, days with people getting $10,000, $12,000 routinely. That should be you. So consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat and pinned comment. Consider becoming a member and get delivered to you daily all that big money under third and fourth and fifth stimulus. All right, that brings us back to our big finale for fourth stimulus starting right now. This coming week, a lot of exciting details. The House Ways and Means Committee, subcommittee, and the House Budget Subcommittee, before the weekend announced that they are absolutely in, uh, in town, in the congressional building and in subcommittee working all next week and meeting in subcommittee all next week. Does that announcement before the four-day week, before the three-day weekend surprise you? It did for me, but I loved it. Why? Because last year's July came and went with a fake narrative from conservative media saying that no one was working after July. Then everyone was gone and out of town until September. And so I want to prepare you for that potential fake narrative. And I think that the House subcommittees prepared you accordingly as well. They came ahead of the story ever coming out and saying, no, we're not leaving. We're working. Here's what you need to know. This is what the Congress looks like. It's a big building. It has offices for individual people. And then it has subcommittee rooms. And then it has the House floor and the Senate floor. Well, that House floor and Senate floor is just two rooms in the entire building. And when those two rooms are closed, it's called not in session. When they're open, it's called in session. Well, what conservative media did in 2020 was they said not in session. Well, they are out of town and not working and not back into Washington, D.C. until September. 
it was just so insanely un- untrue. I mean, they were just there and they kept on running that crazy article. But people were believing it because they were clearly not in session, but that doesn't mean not in town. In session is a diff- is a term that refers to them, refers to those two rooms open and voting. Here's what you need to know, is that the in session refers to those two rooms voting and that the two rooms are closed. They're not out of town. Rather, in this case, they're not only down the hall and not only just in their offices, they're actually in the subcommittees drafting, finishing, and voting on the legislation. Now, it's important for you to understand, and a lot of this stuff is sort of new for Evenings LA tonight, is that these legislators don't have, you know, marching bands that announce every step that they're doing. So there's a lot of people that want to see everything with incredible transparency. And I agree, because as America, we should have transparency. They don't do that. So they don't do things until they're practically, they don't show you things sometimes until they're practically done. That's the first thing to know. Number two, they are working. Number three, um, it's important to know that the in session thing is a misnomer in this situation. Why? Because the speaker, the leader of the Senate, and the president are all the same party. So they want to do something, guess what they can do? Bring them back into session. The Constitution allows the Speaker of the House, leader, and the president to put them back into session with a blink of an eye. But it's even easier when they're all from the same party. And what's important for you to know is that in 2020, when that when I ran that story, the fake narrative from other print media was that, oh, well, they're out of town. they got to fly in. They weren't out of town. They were down the hall. And they're down the hall this week as well. So I don't want you to think that bringing them back into session is like some Herculean task. They're 500 feet away from the room. It's just like, you know, they're not a, not even, you know, a lobster away. <laughs> they're right there. Um, so what's important next is how they call the vote. Um, it's important to know that I do think that as we go into the new week, that positivity is very important. There is, if you saw Noontime LA, if you saw Noontime LA, there was just crazy comments in there. And I had to jump in there and just sort of ban people left and right. Someone jumping there said they already voted on it, it didn't pass. I was just, you know, what? What are you doing? Um, and I, I, I really do believe that a lot of that is coming is not is people who actually know that's an untrue statement, and they're jumping in there because they don't they they dislike the president and they want to confuse you. That's number one. Number two, um, it's important to note that there's going to be a lot of people who are going to go to the mat in negativity about the July fourth comment from Pelosi and Schumer. July Pelosi and Schumer, and I got to address it. Pelosi and Schumer said a thousand times that the recon final vote will be by July 4th. And I saw some negativity, which of course I deleted, where people said, well, they didn't get the vote done by July 4th, so it's not going to happen. Come on, already. I mean, that's just sort of stupid. That's stupid. It's it's not like it's July 29th. It's July 4th. Um, so that level stu- that level of negativity is is awful. And it's not going to be allowed here. So don't don't bring it here. <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, um, not that I don't love America, and not that it's not America's birthday, but I'll probably ban the word July 4th after today, because I don't want to hear people saying, they didn't do it by July 4th, so they're never going to do it. It's just, you know, cut it out, get, take it away. Here's what you need to know, is that when is not the determining factor? You can't be a date chaser, because a date chaser does it wrong and does it incorrectly. You have to do it right. We're not day chasers and we're not tracking, ch- chasing checks here, tracking checks. We're cashing checks. Here's what's at issue. Had they called the vote before two Wednesdays ago, it would have died. Because as GOP and Democrats both agree, the recon was too big and it was not going to pass. So you don't call the vote on something that doesn't work. Why, why spend weeks of doing trying to do something and suddenly you realize it's not going to pass? You don't have enough votes for it? That's the first thing. Number two. Understand that these Democrats have worked tooth and nail to get this to you. So you should never bring a negativity that think that they don't care, they don't want to, they're dragging their feet, which is also a bandwagon on this channel, by the way, Um, that that you're just not supposed to do anything. Uh, No, here's Jalapal. I mean, Jalapal wrote your darn bill, for goodness sake. She wants you to have a monthly stimulus check. So what did she do? She did this, and she sort of slipped by revealing that she had gone this level of depth for you. What did she do? Jalapal admits in a quote this last week that before the recon was separated from the bipartisan, she 
reached out to her Democratic caucus and asked them, how should we vote on it? Let me go over that again, because that's a big issue. Before the bipartisan was separated from the recon, she reached out to her Democratic caucus to go over how should they call it for a vote. This is very well reversed, educated, planned out uh, strategy that people saw an issue and they prepared for it before the event even occurred. So she, it's, but she's not going to tell you what she's doing. And she didn't tell you this when she did it. So this is another example of how these people don't tell you things ahead of time because they need to get them done the right way. And the staff and the, and the, and the, the Democratic and Progressive Caucus said they are not going to vote on the bipartisan deal unless the recon votes first. They decided that before they separated them. I mean, this is huge. I mean, this is really huge. And there's, here's Nancy. There ain't going to be no bipartisan bill unless we have the recon bill vote first. Ver recon bill vote first. And as I said, there won't be a bipartisan unless we have a recon bill first. Plain and simple. In fact, I use the word ain't. There ain't going to be a bipartisan unless we have a recon passed by the United States Senate. And there you go. Remember, if they call the bipartisan for a vote first and the recon second, you get nothing. We're done. We go home. You don't get anything or anything. No housing, no checks, no nothing. If they do the bipartisan first, we are but here's what you need to know. It's not going to happen that way. Because Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi determine what's called for a vote, when it's called for a vote, and how it's called for a vote. But that is the attention to detail. Mitch McConnell's been running his mouth all week along, saying, let's call the bipartisan for a vote first. No, because that kills our recon. That's what he wants you to have. Calling your, your recon. The way recon passes is called for a vote first and called for a vote or called for a vote concurrently with the bipartisan. That's what gets it done. In the universe of getting things done, you have to do it the right way, not the fastest way, because the fastest way may result in the wrong way. Looking back to that two Wednesdays ago, if you had called the vote then, you would have got to nothing. This is why being careful and cautious to ensure that all money is done right has to be done right from, from the, to the very fast, to the very last minute. And there you go. Next week is going to be a big week with a lot of maneuverings over the voting. That's the very big issue now, the voting, how it's voted, when it's voted, and where one thing votes before another. It's all fascinating, and I'll have all the details with you as well. Coming up next is Overnight's Crypto. Stay on this video. will take you automatically in there. And then we go into Evening's Crypto, Sir Line, and then our Overnight Show. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers. I want you to be part of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like this video. Every like you deliver helps in the algorithm rankings. It also delivers a sign of parsley. And consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino, VIP. I'll see you next on Overnight's Crypto.